Good day everyone, I am Grizel Rose Cadenas. So for today's video, I am going to introduce you the mangroves and the sea grasses. So let's go! What is mangroves? Mangrovize any certain shrubs and trees that belong primarily to the families Rhizothraceae, Acanthaceae, Lithraceae, Convertaceae, and Dracaceae, that grow in dense thickets or forests along tidal estuaries, in salt marshes, and on muddy coasts, and that characteristically have for roots exposed. The term mangrove also applies to thickets and forests of such plants. Mangroves are extremely important to the coastal ecosystems they inhabit. Physically, they serve as a buffer between marine and terrestrial comestin and protect shorelines from damaging winds and floods. The type of this mangroves is black mangroves. Black mangroves is characterized by long horizontal roots and root-like projections known as pneumatophores. It grows at elevations slightly higher than the red mangrove where tidal change exposes the roots to air. The pencil-shaped pneumatophores originate from underground horizontal roots, projecting from the soil around the tree's trunk, providing oxygen to the underground and underwater root systems. The threats of mangroves are mangroves can be affected by several different threats simultaneously or over time as land use patterns change. There are some natural threats such as shoreline erosion and typhoons, but predominantly they are human and do such as overexploitation, conversion, and encroachment of mangrove habitats for agricultural and settlement purposes, aquaculture, a decline in freshwater and silt deposition and heavy metal pollution, together with predicted climate change including global warming, sea level rise and extreme weather events, there will be further threats to mangrove ecosystems in the future. As a student, the ways that I can help to protect the mangroves ecosystem are support the establishment of a mangrove protection area. This area will serve as a site where mangroves will not be utilized for any other purposes. This is not only for mangroves themselves, but for the fishes that will provide more fish to the local fishermen. Second, is to help spread the word about the importance of mangroves. The more people know about the importance of mangroves, the stronger the movement for the protection and conservation of the resources. And lastly is to volunteer to mangrove planting activities. It will be best to engage and help nature back the resources. Even in our own little way of help, we can still make a difference and contribute to the conservation and protection of the mangrove ecosystem. So, what is seagrass? Seagrasses are underwater plants that evolved from land plants. They are like terrestrial plants in that they have leaves, flowers, seeds, roots, and connected tissues, and they make their food through photosynthesis. Seagrasses are a very important food source and habitat for wildlife, supporting a diverse community of organisms including fish, octopuses, sea turtles, shrimp, blue crabs, oysters, sponges, sea urchins, animals, clams, and squid. Seagrasses have been called the lungs of the sea because they release oxygen into the water through the process of photosynthesis. The grasses also lessen the effects of strong currents, and also provide concealment and a place for eggs and larvae to attach. These factors make seagrasses a good nursery area for many fish and invertebrates, including commercially important fish species, their leaves and stems also provide food. The type of this seagrasses is turtle grass Thalassia testudinum. Turtle grass is commonly found in the lower regions of Texas along mud sand bottoms in a depth of 2-5 feet. This species will form extensive beds when under the right conditions. Turtle grass is known for its broad flat leaves and shoots are often found, with clusters of 3 to 7 leaves up to 14 inches in length. This species derives its name from the fact that it is a favorite food source for the green sea turtle. Unfortunately, the threats of seagrasses are in trouble. Seagrass coverage is being lost globally at a rate of 1.5% per year. That amounts to about two football fields of seagrass lost each hour. It's estimated that 29% of seagrass meadows have died off in the past century. Seagrasses are vulnerable to physical disturbances, such as wind-driven waves and storms. Some animals, such as skates and rays, disturb the rhizomes and roots of seagrasses, 
ripping up the seagrass as they forage for buried clams and other invertebrates. However, the direct and indirect effects of human activities account for most losses of seagrass beds in recent decades. Some fast-growing seagrass meadows are able to rebound from disturbances, but many grow slowly over the course of centuries and are likely to be slow to recover. Nutrients, such as those from fertilizers and pollution, wash off the land and into the water, causing algal blooms that block sunlight necessary for seagrass growth. Sediment washing into the water from agriculture and land development can also damage seagrass beds by both smothering the seagrass. Similarly, dredging can both directly remove seagrass plants and cause lower light levels because of increased amounts of sediments in the water. This fragmentation of seagrass beds can increase erosion around the edges and movement within the seagrass bed. As a student, the actions that I take in to help seagrasses include limiting damaging practices such as excessive trawling and dredging, runoff pollution and harmful fishing practices such as dynamite or cyanide fishing. There are also attempts to rebuild and restore seagrass beds by planting seeds or seedlings grown in aquaria or transplanting adult seagrasses from other healthy meadows. However, seagrass populations globally are still in trouble. Some simple steps everyone can take to help seagrasses and other marine habitats include Don't litter, limit the amount of fertilizer and pesticides you use, don't dump anything hazardous down the drain, and be careful when boating by going slow, avoid shallow areas and lastly support local conservation efforts. It's like a Polaroid love Sat down chonsed on the gamjong Kunde ne gasumi duyo Wunai i benai Yo Wee sarangye mo menen gonji Ochapi pon han gamjongi zanna Bumin da an dami dotji Aigo do pa jinam jong in gapa But that's all for today's video, I hope you enjoyed, bye!